to. <laughs> I get you so cool. I'm Rose. Like uh, I'm, I'm Rose. Cadell. And this is Cadell. Uh, bang. Okay, okay, okay. Take three. Action. Hey, I'm Cadell. And I'm Rose. And behind us is Frosty the Snow Van. And together we are the Rubber, Rubber Tramp Rubber Adventurers. Uh, thanks for coming to our page. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to follow our journey as we become digital nomads. I think that was the best one. That was a good one. All right. Today I'm going to be working on restoring a propane tank. Um, it's a 1990 propane tank I got from my friend Jamie over at uh, Peace Love and Van Life. If I figure out how to do it, I'll put a little thing right here or his uh, information will be down in the link below. Um, but I'm going to be storing this propane tank and uh, I'm going to sand it down, I'm going to repaint it, I'm going to test the valves and make sure it's working properly. Uh, and then probably in another video, I'm going to install it in Frosty. Uh, Manchester propane tank. Uh, I called the company. It's still completely covered. Like I don't have to get it re-certified uh, or anything like that. Um, they say it's good forever. The first step for restoring a old propane tank is going to be uh, putting soapy water on all of the valves and checking to make sure there's no leaks. And I actually already found where the leak is. I'm just trying to show you guys. So when I open this valve up um, and pour a little soapy water right on there, you can see I mean, it's just leaking straight out of this valve itself. So I need to replace this piece right here. So this is day two of working on the propane tank. Um, it's crazy, it was so humid and, and rainy last night that it actually started to re-rust the propane tank again. Um, all this area right over here was all done the other day. And as you can see, it comes off really fast. Um, so I think when I sand it down, it'll all go away again, but uh, it's already starting to re-rust again uh, just overnight. So it's pretty crazy how fast rust can actually work. Um, so for you to sand, if you want to sand, it's going to be this one. But you start with him. I wonder if I cigarette first, I'll help you. Yeah, that's fine, baby. You will end up having to do it over three times. So one time with the 60, one time with the 80, and then one time with the 120. How are you enjoying it, babe? Freaking awesome. Sanding. Gotta think of the future, not the hard part. Gotta think of what it would do for us. Exactly. Hot showers. So we are pretty far in. Give you a peek at what it looks like so far. Um, it's looking way better. Um, I'll show you the one that she's working on right here. So this is the one. Show them the shiny parts. What's the shiniest part you got, babe? Right in there. There we go. So what I just had to do, um, I just removed this carefully, because I'm still going to try to reuse this regulator um, and not have to, hopefully not have to buy a new one. But because this was leaking from 
um, from right here, I actually had, it was on there so tight, I actually had to just hammer it um, and get it off. Um, and so I was able to get this rim right here, but I am still going to screw this back in when I'm painting it because I don't want the actual threads inside there to get painted or get anything on it. So I'm going to actually leave it on like this, but I do want to make it so while I'm painting, I can kind of turn it and move it out of my way. Um, I'm, this and this don't have a problem, so I'm not even going to take them off or touch them. I'm just going to leave it be because if they're working, you know, if it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So we got it all sanded down um, and we cleaned it up and made it look nice. So now the next step is I'm going to be using the primer on it. It does smell like banana. Now what do the instructions say? Probably should have read those first. I'm gonna wait for it to dry all the way, which it says, um, somewhere on here says, two to four hours in English. There it is, there it is. So two to four hours before dry sanding. So I'm gonna sand it because there's a look, some divots and stuff in this and I wanna make sure that all those little divots and everything are filled. So it is day So it is day three of my propane tank rebuild. And as you can see, we got it uh, primed yesterday. So uh, now I'm just going to use a little 120 grit sandpaper and sand it down. I use this uh, primer that's a primer filler um, because it's got some divots in it. I wanted to get it really flat before I paint it white. patient person but I also uh, didn't look up the correct tips on how to uh, paint both sides of this propane tank before I started painting it so uh, my goal is I'm going to connect the part that I'm not going to be using anymore I'm not I'm getting a new piece of this so if it breaks or whatever not a big deal the threads are gonna be fine it, it'll be able to support it it's empty it's not very heavy so I'm going to use this string and wrap it around here and tie it and then lift the propane tank up. And it so far is holding so I'm going to leave it at that and just spray paint this thing. So now the last step in painting the propane tank is I'm going to use some Plasti Dip. Um, so it says that I need to do uh, a fairly heavy coat uh, three to four times with 30 minutes between each coat. So I'm just gonna get right to it. Um, the one thing I did do is I masked off where um, it has all the information. It's There we go, and this is the finished product. Nice and shiny and new. <laughs> 